Yo, what is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Just want to do a very quick, chill, layback video showing the vintage and graphic tees in my wardrobe. Generally, I have mostly basics, plain things in my closet. I don't really like wearing a lot of stuff with a lot of logos or a lot of designs on it. However, occasionally it is nice to kind of show a little bit of personality, show what you are into and just kind of change up a fit a little bit using graphic t-shirts. And something else I think is cool about having like vintage graphic tees is it's kind of like a, in a way like a collectible, like it's a statement on like a moment in time a while ago on a certain topic, which I just think is really cool. So yeah, most of the time I'm wearing plain basic t-shirts, plain hoodies like this. Like I don't usually like logos or graphics, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool to show off the t-shirts I have. So the base outfit for everything we'll be showing. I'm gonna have these All Saints goat leather boots. And then these are just some kind of cheap denim I got from Target like four years ago. But then after I show all the t-shirts, I'll just kind of briefly talk about kind of how I incorporate and style graphic tees in an outfit. Um, but anyways, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and just get into the first t-shirt. Okay, so starting with a banger in my opinion. Uh, I got this Revenge of the Sith uh, t-shirt off of eBay. Uh, I was eyeing like the 2004 like promo tees for Revenge of the Sith. And a lot of them are in Grail are like really, really expensive. Like I saw a couple of this same exact tee, like people were asking, you know, like above $100 for it. And I'm like, it, while it's cool, like I'm not gonna be spending like upwards of $100 on a t-shirt unless it's like, you know, really cool but i actually found this on ebay for around 40 bucks i think uh but size medium i really just like the fading on the black tee and i don't know it just fits really good and i just gotta say revenge sith uh personally sentimentally it's my favorite star wars movie i kind of grew up with it and it's just a banger like name name a star wars movie with a better soundtrack okay well Obviously the original trilogy has like the iconic ones, but I'm just talking like bangers, like consistently. It's dark, it's sad. Oh my God, it's just, come on, come on. I actually, on Grailed, I was able to find a hoodie of the same thing and I bought it and it wasn't that, that expensive too. I nabbed it and then it got lost in the mail, but we got the t-shirt, so we good. Okay, the next one, it's not a vintage tee but this is the Drain Gang Tour t-shirt uh, from the most recent tour in April. And I got it while I was at the show. Uh, really cool t-shirt. Um, I always like their graphics and just on the back, you know, number nine in the upper realm, D9. I don't know, I just think it's cool. Um, generally when I wear stuff like this, I'll, I like wearing this with kind of my like plain black valence and then like sneakers. For some reason, I think it works better than the fit I showed like here. Um, again, I'm not really sure why, but I like to wear it like that. Um, but yeah, super cool. I'm glad I was able to finally see them live. I bet it's the first time they ever came to my town. Not the last time a Drain Gang shirt is gonna be on this list, but. Okay, so this next one, in my opinion, absolute banger of a t-shirt, okay? Paid a little much for it on eBay, more than I would have liked, but I think it's sick. And it's this Roswell 50th anniversary, 1947 to 1997 t-shirt, right? On the front, it just has this little logo on there, a little glow in the dark flying saucer, right? Kind of simple, right? The back though is sick, check this out. It's got this super cool graphic. I love the font, Roswell's cover up, 50th anniversary, and it's got this alien like chick with the towel up and gets cover up and bro, it's just, I just thought that was so cool. Now the Roswell incident and like aliens in general, I think it's from an entertainment standpoint, very fascinating to me. I think there's a lot of BS in there, of course, and a lot of exaggeration, but just strictly from an entertainment standpoint, I think it's very interesting. Um, and there can be really good stories with it. I don't know, I just think in light of all the other UFO stuff in the news and with that, uh, US Navy pilot and stuff. I just think it's a very fascinating space to kind of explore and obviously you know manage your expectations and I can see how some global people would think like everything's true. It's like, probably not. I just thought that was really cool. Just as a cultural moment in time, this Roswell cover up thing, 
I just think it's so cool. So I paid like 70, 73 bucks for this, I think, plus shipping. It, it was a little much. Like this is one of my most expensive tees I have, but I just thought it was so cool. So anyways, next t-shirt. All right, so another concert t-shirt. This is my Young Lean concert tee. Uh, the one time he came to my city, uh, this was from the Stranger Tour in 2018. Young Lean Sad Boys has all the um, tour dates on it. And I just really like the, uh, the album art on it. It kind of had these, these like kind of Roman Greek vibes to the graphic and everything. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. Um, and of course, like anytime I go to a show of one of my favorite artists, um, I kind of, my willpower breaks and I usually cop a t-shirt um, if they're one of my favorites. So I don't know, I just thought that was really cool. So it is what it is, but yeah. All right, going back to Star Wars, um, I found this on eBay, very reasonable price. I think it was like 20 bucks or something, but it's this Star Wars, the Clone Wars movie promo tee. And so it has Captain Rex on it. It says, we want you recruitment begins in cinemas 2008. And it has protect the peace, serve the Republic with some ships in the background and then Rex pointing at you. I thought it was super cool. And on the back it just says, Star Wars, the Clone Wars, StarWars.com. I don't know, I thought it was really cool. I'm very sentimental with this movie and the series, of course. <laughs> and uh, my girlfriend and I actually just recently watched the Clone Wars movie this week. And oh my God, the... I love it from a sentimental reason, like a nostalgic reason. Oh, I love it, right? But the dialogue is like, it's so weird. Like there's no pauses or breaks in the dialogue sometimes and it's really weird and then the animation I understand it was they were new to this like they you know it's very groundbreaking stuff when you first do it but man it was kind of rough and then right after we watched the most recent episode of the Bad Batch which is basically just Clone Wars season 8 and the animation has gone so much better like they've done a great job of progressing the quality of animation but yeah I just thought this was super cool um it was like 20 bucks and I was like you know what for historical value, I want this in my in my closet. All right, the next one is a touristy shirt I got. I caved, and I was at the Louvre in Paris, and I got this um, T-shirt that has Liberty on it, and it's of the painting um, Liberty Leaving the People, which is absolutely stunning. I, I just really like it, and I just think it's very cool. It's a good shirt to work out in the gym with or whatever, and uh, I just thought it was really neat. Um, really, there's nothing much to it, besides medium. Generally, when I travel to a place, I don't, I, I try not to like, oh, I gotta get a t-shirt, you know. Uh, but in this one case, I was like, well, one wouldn't hurt, right? That one hall where this painting is, if you ever go, I highly, highly recommend. Um, you can spend two days just walking around that museum and like still discover stuff. It's insane. It was really cool. I just love that hall with this painting. Like you don't understand the scale of it until you're like, you're there in front of it. It's huge, like the amount of talent it took to paint that, insane, absolutely insane. So I thought it was a good little souvenir. All right, going back to Aliens, <laughs> another Roswell, New Mexico t-shirt. I got this out of a vintage store in Nashville and I don't know, I just thought it was really cool with the alien, what they call that, like the grays or something. It has like the teeniest mouth ever and like, like a balloon freaking head. I don't know, I just thought it was cool. I like the color scheme. Uh, T-shirt, it's like a, a little bit smaller. I think it's like a, like a medium, but it's been washed a bunch and dried a bunch, so it's kind of shrunk a little bit. I kind of like the fit of it a lot. Faded black tee is perfect. Really like that graphic. Very much, much more subtle than the other Roswell T-shirt, but I just thought it was super cool. I always kind of wanted to go down to like Roswell, New Mexico, and just like look at all those like alien junk shops and stuff. Just. I don't know, it's like in the middle of nowhere and you just have these like crazy like alien stores and gas stations and stuff. I just think it'd be so cool to go down there. All right, actually I think this next t-shirt I think is the most expensive one I got. Yeah, it is. I paid like 90 bucks for it. But it's Blades, the full album t-shirt. Now the t-shirt design, it just kind of has these two lines kind of launching at each other. And on the back it has the fool written in this really crazy font blade up top. This is definitely my favorite album of his. 
um, for multiple reasons. I just think it's like a good refinement of his sound. Um, and then from a sentimental point of view, it came out very interesting time in my life. You ever have like those albums that you just have like a emotional connection to? Yeah, this is this is it for me. So I just thought it was like really cool. I wanted to have it in my collection. Um, I don't know, I just think it's sick. So paid a little much for it. I will admit, not the smartest decision in the world, but I got it. All right, I'm gonna combine the next two t-shirts into this video segment here. Uh, Cause I had these, I got them when I was a, a young teenager in like 2012. And it's the Star Wars, the Old Republic. Uh, you know about that, that video game? It was like the open world, like, I forgot what the name, I'm totally blanking on the type of game it is. But they always had like the really cool trailers for it. Like, I wish Disney would put out stuff like these trailers, you know, in terms of like a show or a movie or something. I would just think it'd be so sick. But um, these are some of the different classes you could play in the game. Uh, this one says like Jedi Knight, uh, guardian or uh, uh, savior of the galaxy in Arabesh. I just think these are really cool, and even the tag is in Arabesh as well. So it kind of is like an in-world T-shirt. After having this for like ten years, it has some really nice fading on it. And then this one here says Imperial Agent, and has Operator and then Sniper written in Arabesh. Arabesh, Arabesh. I don't know. I although I think I should know. I think I'm a big enough fan. I should know. My sister actually had this for years and I didn't know, I thought I lost it. I thought like it actually got like donated or something by like one of my parents. And then I'm on a trip with my sister and she like walks out and to like, I'm using this as like a, like a pajama shirt. I'm like, that's my shirt. It's been missing for years, that's my shirt. And so I finally got it back. I know I did try and play that game the Old Republic one, but I'm not a huge fan of that game style, but I did read all the novels from that era. I would think it's a very cool time period in the Star Wars story uh, to explore, like the Old Republic. So, um, what's that, like the show that's coming out, The Acolyte? I think that could be, I think it has potential. Um, I I've, I've tend to find, this is a little Star Wars rant here. I tend to find that Disney kind of chokes with the bigger projects. You know, like the sequel trilogy, I feel like they choked and like dropped the ball on that. And then with like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Boba Fett, like those two shows, like, you know, very big characters, don't wanna mess it up. Uh, well, not the best. But then like Andor, who's a side character in a spinoff movie, gets a show, banger. So good, right? Or like Tales of the Jedi, right? It's just like a one-off, like short little vignettes stories. Banger! I, I have some faith that the act light will be good, hopefully, but we'll see. Anyways, back to graphic t-shirts. Sorry about that rant. Next t-shirt I got in Nashville at the Johnny Cash Museum. I just thought this was sick. Um, I do like listening to Johnny Cash. Um, he's got some very good songs. Country music and especially like that Johnny Cash sound. It's so uniquely American. Come on, you, you can't listen to the song Cry 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 and be like, yeah, that ain't that ain't a banger. It's good. Or like, just come on, Folsom Prison Blues. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. There's only three t-shirts left, so if you've made it this far, thank you, we're almost done. This one was a gift. It has a kind of a storyboard drawing from Empire Strikes Back. Again, banger. Probably, objectively, the best Star Wars movie. And I can't agree with that. So I have Revenge of Sith and then Empire t-shirt. I, I don't know, they're both really good movies. It's not like a crisp white t-shirt, it's kind of a natural, um, has more of a cream undertone to the white tee. Um, I just think it was really cool. I got it from, I think, I think it was from like Heroes and Villains, that brand. I don't know, it's cool. All right, so here's a team sesh t-shirt uh, from like the artist Bones, of course. And I thought this was a very cool wash. I really like the kind of Western design, it has a bucking Bronco, the skeleton on it. it says, Dead Boys Ride or Die in 1997. Um, kind of a little large, it's pretty big on me. It's a size large, and I think it runs even kind of big. It almost fits like an extra large, but um, Team Sesh, they always put out like really cool t-shirt designs and jackets and hats and stuff like that. 
Uh, but Bones, he's a very nostalgic artist for me. Um, he was, I listened to him all the time from like 2015 through like 2017. All right, last t-shirt. Thanks for making it this far. Simple Rebellion logo t-shirt. I got this when I was maybe 14, 14, 15 ish. Just hung on to it since. Again, good t-shirt to go to the gym in, mow the lawn in. I don't know. You can tell I got it when I was young because it's a little small on me now. And since I've, you know, grown up a little bit, but hey. So when it comes to styling graphic t-shirts in an outfit, there's really only two guidelines that I have for myself. Number one, if I wear a graphic t-shirt, I want that to be the only thing in the outfit that has a logo or design on it. Um, you go beyond that, you start putting other logos and other graphic you know, hoodies with it and stuff. It can be a little loud, and in my opinion, it looks a little much. Personally, I would not want to wear like, if I had like a zip up hoodie that had like a logo on it, I wouldn't want to wear a t-shirt that also has, you know, a graphic on it. It would just be, a, it would just clash too much in my opinion. Um, and then the second guideline that I generally find myself following when it comes to graphic tees is I like to wear them with more streetwear, normcore type outfits. So I'm talking jeans and a t-shirt and like plain sneakers. In contrast to wearing it with kind of the more techier, futuristic, dystopian type of fits that I like also like to lean into. Um, personally, I just think the graphic tees fit better with just, you know, nice pair of jeans and boots or sneakers than, you know, technical cargo pants and shell jackets and stuff like that. But again, that's just my opinion. Now, I'm gonna leave some links down below to, for some searches and for some actual individual postings on eBay and some grail ones maybe um, of t-shirts that I think are really cool. Um, I tend to find that grailed, and this is generally speaking, not just with graphic and vintage tees, but generally grailed has a lot higher prices than eBay. And I think that's because if you're shopping on Grail and you're selling on Grail, generally you're probably like, you know, into fashion. And so, you know, you could sell like a really beat up, like blank t-shirt for, you know, 70, 90 bucks. Where if you just go on eBay, the, I think the sellers that eBay attracts are a lot more just like your average Joe who's just throwing up some old clothes for sale. And so you can get a lot better deals on eBay, I find. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you on pretty soon. Thanks for sticking around. Um, again, I, re I really appreciate all the support that you guys give to the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So with that being said, I'll see you. Have a good one. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom.